Here we're now in section 6.4, which is a little bit different than um, simplifying square roots. Now we're actually going to have to add and subtract square roots. Now, for this section, it's just the introductory, so they will already be ready for you to add and subtract them together. Um, the only thing is um, later on, the square roots you might have to simplify first before you can add or subtract which is why we had to learn the simplifying first before we would be able to do the adding and subtracting on their own. So essentially what happens is you basically have eight of these things, whatever they are, we'll call them apples. So eight apples plus two more apples means you have 10 apples. And what do those apples look like? They look like square root of fives, right? And so this is the response. They're kind of like variables, right? If you have eight of those variables and then two more of those variables, you end up having 10 of those variables. Another way you could think about it is if you factored out the square root of five on the right-hand side, right? If I took the square root of five out from both of those, I would have eight plus two. And then that can simplify into 10 times the square root of five as well. So whether you're thinking about it as far as like factoring or you're just thinking of it as like combining like terms, it's the same thing. So here I have four of these radicals minus one of the same kind of radicals means I'm gonna end up with three of those radicals. And that's it for this topic.